Hey everyone, Charity Man Dan checking in on the broader market on a day when the bulls squeeze some bears. So yesterday we had consolidation and it was notable, the pullback. You know, we had 2% plus drops on a lot of the major NASDAQ names that we follow. But the bounce that started yesterday at the end of the day followed through the entirety of overnight where we just went straight up for 14 hours with very minimal consolidation. And then we saw further follow through yet again today. And we just maintain the hourly uptrend and EMA 12 the entire day. So that definitely has put a lot of pressure on shorts. Yesterday was a day where the bears were like, finally, we got some momentum. We got a little green. Well, we got red that leads to some green in the accounts. And it was very short lived. I'm in an environment or I'm in a mindset right now where it's the bears have to prove something to me because the NASDAQ is extremely strong and there's a lot of bull flags out there. And I know that the majority of market participants, not the majority, but more more people are, are short than long and i've taken some polls recently that have shown that and certainly the sentiment out there and so if i'm a bear i am not comfortable on any of these charts including you know bitcoin and bears are not comfortable so we had this just the s p 500 we can make a simple statement the bulls have full control as long as these higher lows keep forming and we have a new one the low of yesterday and now the only resistance for the s p 500 short term is the high of the FOMC reaction. And then we're looking back, looking at SPY now, that level is 402.49 and then 407.45. And so it's a nice bounce on the daily time frame for SPY. The NASDAQ looks much stronger. Again, it's a daily bull flag right off EMA 12. And the only resistance is the FOMC high here. And if the bulls break that level, we're back at the highest level we've seen in a couple months. And for QQQ, that is 315.25. And again, if we get over that level, we are then at the highest level in about six plus months, very notable. And so what we're seeing right now is the financial sector and our weaker sectors, they're trying to join team bull. And so I'm looking at 3205 resistance still on XLF as our daily lower high, strong close up at the high of the day. And that resistance level is in play potentially tomorrow as the bulls need to ideally break the daily lower highs and then confirm the daily uptrend to put in a more convincing fear bottom. Baba followed through for the bulls here. Not a whole lot, but set an hourly high or low at the low of today, 96.28, and then saw some continuation. And with that strength in Baba, we are also seeing NIO act as a laggard. The EV names had a lot of strength today. Not... Tesla, but the smaller names like Plug and CHPT. There's some weak charts, but solid green day. NIO confirmed a daily inverse head and shoulders. So we had this left shoulder, head, right shoulder, increasing bull volume. This morning pre-market, I was talking about NIO, watching it to be a laggard, and I said, keep an eye out for the volume. If, if we're going to confirm this inverse head and shoulders pattern, the volume will stand out to us. And if we look at the five minute time frame, the volume started pouring in here about 20 minutes into the trading day. And so we broke both neckline levels, 953 and 970. Bigger picture, the weekly time frame still has a lot of work to do. Anything under 1322 is a weekly lower high. But we can look at that chart on the daily and say this is the first shift towards the bulls on the daily chart for NIO in about six weeks, almost two months. So that is notable to us as far as a nice little shift in momentum. We'll be looking for an hourly higher low to be the result of next consolidation. And bigger picture, bulls are gonna try and get a four month bounce going. Again, look at this chart, just straight up, straight down, stair steps on the four month and looking for a longer term shift to try and take place here. It looks a bit like a falling wedge on the long term time frames. And so if the market bulls do take over over the next couple of months, we're going to be looking for NIO to try and break this falling wedge bullish. Tesla didn't really have a, well, it, I mean, it was a, a solid green day like everybody else. It wasn't notably stronger. Curious, let's see, was it relative strength or not? Tesla divided by QQQ. Not uneventful, it did the same thing as QQQ. When it's sideways, it's doing the same thing. So Tesla daily downtrend confirmed with a lack of bear follow through. And now bulls got to get over this 200 psychological resistance level if we're going to see a shift in the momentum here. SMH 
daily high or low set very quickly looking back at the recent highs trying to confirm the daily bull flag nvda is doing exactly what bulls want to see first hourly oversold conditions marking the daily high or low and limited resistance 275.89 about three percent away a little bit less to try and confirm the daily bull flag and continuation so the simple statement again that we can make in the market right now is lows of yesterday for a lot of individual names are now our key short-term support if they're holding bulls don't have a thing to worry about if we lose them we take a step back and reassess things but again from yesterday watching the rotation and how the consolidation took place how the bulls controlled overnight how they controlled the gap up open today definitely hard to uh, be trusting the bears right now healthcare inside bar keeping a close eye on j and j i am very close to making a long entry and bottom fishing this low need to see the break of 154.54 for confirmation of a daily uptrend and to see this weekly stair step that broke bull follow through but i'm very interested especially if the market bulls keep this move going and if the market bulls keep this move going and we have you know a green couple of weeks here you're going to see sentiment shift obviously and you'll start to see people thinking wait a second is that the bottom did i miss it and i think that we're going to see capital then try and find some laggards but need to see higher highs in the nasdaq and need to see the s p 500 and the financial sector alleviate some of that fear biotech sector trying to negate the daily bear flag we had a bit of a resistance zone at 7560 that broke on the morning and we'll have to see a daily trend change confirm bulls are hoping for another day of green to try and set up an inverse head and shoulders for the daily trend change but i am watching the weekly stair step and that's now eight weeks in a row of a lower high every single week and currently an inside bar we'll see if the bulls can change that with two trading days left in the week gold still tightening up inside bar has to break bull for the daily higher low to officially be set but just a nice tightening range watching the dollar very closely to see if the dollar bulls are going to be able to confirm the daily uptrend or not that's going to be pretty important over the next few days maybe two three days to be keeping an eye on that not only for the metals but for the market as a whole oil looking like some consolidation is due still a four hour uptrend but We'll be looking for a daily pullback and scouting a daily high or low in the short term. And natural gas trying to get a bounce going, but still struggling at four hour EMA resistance and still in a downtrend. But let's see if the bulls are able to shift that. If they're green tomorrow, that'll break the stair step pattern. We've set a lower high every single day, 11 days in a row. That pattern has to break for the bulls to start getting some follow through. For me on Netflix it was the only real trade I took today. And Netflix shorted on the morning. I had a, a remaining small swing short from yesterday and shorted the initial move, move looking for the gap up and profit taking. Stop was at 330.01, so missed stopping out by 12 pennies. And my entry was right around 329. Exited a third on the initial pullback, exited another third when the low of the day held, and then stopped out of the final third and all of my shorts when we hit the new high of the day. So in the end, gave back a little bit of the profit from the trade from yesterday. But again, bulls are too strong for me, not just in Netflix, in the market, for me to be looking bearish right now. And again, I'm, I'm open to the bears. I'm ready to, to hedge my IRA and look short, but not in this market environment. And the past two days, really the past 25 hours of trading, have um, it shifted my, my bias to bulls a bit. And these are bull flags and they would have to fail and drop and break support but you could just see the pressure being put on bears today look at kikiq on the one minute time frame at the end of the day here there were a couple big spikes and big market sells and then we just v-shaped there were clearly to me it looked like bots and algos just you know a quick flush down a quick little punch in the mouth to the bulls and then just buy right back up into continuation and so without a doubt there is pressure on bears and watching to see if it's bull breaks that force bears to cover over the next few days quickie video here i'm getting ready for a webinar to talk about routine habit and flow state in just about 30 minutes hope you had a good day see you soon
got some asparagus. This is the third year that they've been growing and I haven't eaten any yet to let it get its roots established. But this year, I'm gonna eat them. Japanese maple putting on its leaves.